Now, South Korea's culture ministry has laid out a long-term policy blueprint. It not only aims to protect artists' individual rights of free expression, but also achieve gender equality in the industry. Getting us better acquainted with Culture Vision 2030 is our Go Ryun Hee. The event started with an apology. The Minister of Culture, Sports and Tourism, Po Jung-wan, bowed in from nearly 300 attendees at a briefing in Seoul on Wednesday to apologize for the cultural blacklist created by the previous Park Geun-hye administration, which was used to hinder careers of artists deemed critical of her policies. In the past, the South Korean government suppressed and invaded the freedom of expression, hurting not only the cultural figures, but also the general public. The event laid out the nine goals of the ministry's Culture Vision 2030, put together after input from 8,000 participants since September last year. The policies including guaranteeing workers in the culture industry certain rights, achieving gender equality in the culture sphere, expanding the public's exercise of cultural rights, and seeking cultural diversity. To protect artists' rights, the Preparation Committee aims to put in place new legislation endorsing freedom of expression by 2019. Artists will now be protected by the law. This means they have the right to express whatever they want, but also claim their labor rights, which means they'll be rewarded properly based on their working hours. Other than protecting artists' status and rights, Culture Vision 2030 is also about achieving gender equality. This is related to the Me Too movement in South Korea, which spread across various fields this year, including the cultural industry. Research and surveys on sexual violence and assaults will be held regularly at businesses and educational institutions related to culture. But the head of an artist welfare group says constant communication is needed for the policies to be effective. I think some artists might not be fully satisfied with the ministry's new policy. However, I think the event will encourage productive and constructive debate among artists and policymakers. The ministry says people who are interested in the Culture Vision 2030 will be able to participate and suggest policies on the ministry's website or on social media. Ko Arirang News.